Hey guys, welcome to another one Show review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kroger Microwave Minutes French Bread Pizzas. This one is the Supreme, I don't know if you can see that, here it is. Sauce cheese, sausage, pepperoni, peppers, and onions. This is 350 calories if you eat the whole pizza. 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 Alright, so you can do this in the oven, a regular oven, but we're not going to do it in the regular oven. We're going to do it in the microwave. So, we're going to remove the plastic wrap, uh, place product on the microwave card. There's a little cardboard card in here. In the center of the microwave, microwave for two and a half to three and a half minutes. I'll probably do 245. Um, and the cheese melts, and then that's it. So, yeah, I'll probably do 245 because sometimes if you do it in a half on pizzas, they're, uh, they tend to make them kind of hard. So. I'll just I'll split it in the middle and take off a little bit. Okay. Let me see if I can get this out of here. I've got a paper plate just in case it runs over, which it probably will. There we go. There's lots of ice crystals on here. So there's the pepperonis. You get two whopping two pepperonis. Two pepperonis. Um, doesn't seem like a lot, does it? You might spread them out a little bit. There we go. Now, at least it feels like you're getting more. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this in the microwave for 245 and I'll be back. Okay, right, here's what it looks like out of the microwave. And uh, I took it out just a few seconds early, like uh, maybe 10, 10, 15 seconds early. So it ended up being about 230 anyway. Um, I didn't want the bread to burn up, but the cheese was all bubbling and it's like, uh, it's probably good enough. So I'm going to let this cool off and I'll be back. Okay, right, I cut it up into bite size well, relatively bite-sized pieces so I can eat it easier. Um, seems to be cooled off, so I'm gonna try this. And it has, uh, looks like it has pepperoni and sausage and I don't, I probably some onion, but I don't see, there might be some peppers on there. I can't, I can't really tell. This one's from like the center of the bread. Um, I like to always try to do the center first. It has a good crunch on the bread, which I like. Um, because of the bottom. The uh, the pepperoni really didn't have a lot of flavor. I mean, it's a little bit, you feel a little bit of the pepperoni spice back in the back of your throat, but you don't really taste the pepperoni. Um, and the sauce and the cheese really didn't have, and mostly you tasted like toasted bread with a little bit of cheese on it. Overall, this is just an okay pizza. It's not, um, the flavors don't stand out. Like I said, it's really very heavy on the bread. Um, of course, it is French bread pizza, so it is going to be heavy on the bread, but it's still heavier on the bread than I would like. They could have, um, I don't know, maybe the pepperoni doesn't have enough flavor. Um, there's not a lot of peppers and onions on this, so you really don't get a feel for the pepper and onion flavor. The sausage is, I mean, it's there, but you really don't get it. That might be the spice I'm getting too, is the sausage. I don't know, there's a little bit of a spice, a little tingle I can feel in the back of my throat. Um, don't know where that's coming from, whether it be the pepperoni or the sausage, but um, but it's there, but I don't know, you don't eat any flavor with it, it's just a little tingle, Guido's decided to leave. Um, so overall, this pizza is pretty bland. So I'm going to give it a three. I mean, it's it's definitely edible. It's cheap. It's only a dollar. It'll fill you up because it's a lot of bread. Uh, but are you going to enjoy like, wow, that's a really good pizza? Probably not. So, uh, so yeah, I think I'll stick with a three. Hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.